The Border Collie is widely considered to be the world's smartest dog breed, with the Poodle coming in close second. But not all dogs are created equal, and these dogs on our list come up a little short in the smarts department. Mostly everyone wants an intelligent dog that can be trained to do things that most dogs can't. On the other hand, some people don't. What's so wrong with a not-so-intelligent dog anyway? It all depends on what you want to do with the dog. If you're looking for a lap dog to sit and cuddle with you day to day, you probably aren't too worried about how smart the dog is. According to canine psychologist Dr. Stanley Corin, canine intelligence can be broken down into three dimensions or components. 1. Instinctive intelligence, how efficient they are at performing specific tasks like hunting or herding cattle. 2. Adaptive intelligence, this type of intelligence refers to whether the dog can think on their own, or in other words, think independently. 3. Obedient and work intelligence, and finally, this refers to how quickly a dog can learn commands and how obedient they are. In this video we will talk about the 10 lowest ranking breeds, or the not-so-smart dog breeds, according to the list, in descending order. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Basset Hound Originally developed in France to track small game, Bassets were bred for their noses, not their brains. Hunting is pretty much where this hound's talent ends. A Basset Hound needs to be watched and usually leashed outside. If one finds an interesting scent, it has been known to follow it and forget how to get back. The Mastiff Many people see the Mastiff as a dumb ox and unfortunately their hard-headed and independent nature often gets them labeled as unintelligent dogs. Their reluctance to listen to anyone earns them the label of unintelligent. If this giant breed receives positive reinforcement training from a strong leader and is trained in shorter class periods, they are less likely to be labeled as not so smart. The Pekingese Bred specifically to be the companion pets of the Chinese imperial family of ancient dynasties, there really isn't much to expect from the Pekingese. Their sense of self-esteem is so high that they often think the world is centered on them and that all things must be in accordance with what these dogs see fit. The Pekingese may look more like a fluffy footstool, yet its character is that of a brave and tough pooch that is never going to back down in a fight. They are affectionate and extremely loyal, making it an excellent guard dog. Unfortunately, it is the Pekingese bloated self-importance, stubbornness, and overconfidence that pose a unique challenge to those who would like to train it. The Bloodhound The Bloodhound may not be the most intelligent of dogs, but what a nose. These dogs can track any scent, even a scent trail that is over 100 hours old. The Bloodhound is extremely determined and has an outstanding work ethic. They are gentle, affectionate, and great with kids. Training requires a firm hand and plenty of patience. The Borzoi Borzois are many things, loyal, independent, proud, affectionate, but smart? Not so much. They do get marks for having a cat's intuition to clean themselves, but their other cat-like qualities, they're not as driven as most dogs to please their masters, make them difficult to deal with. The Chow 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 Chows are part of this list because they have a mind of their own. This breed is rather stubborn, hard-headed, and too serious for their own good. They appear stubborn because Chow Chows are resolute in following their own mind. Instead of following you, Chow Chows can refuse to obey you and your authority if they feel like they're better off doing whatever they have in mind. Chow Chows will even take over as alpha of the pack and dominate if given a chance. The Bulldog The Bulldog is undeniably lovable, and their amusing disposition makes them somewhat dopey yet kind creatures. They'll never beg for exercise, and they'd rather sit in your lap than anywhere else in the house. However, because they are eager to please their companions, they do respond well to training, so that's a plus. Although bulldogs aren't terribly bright, they're very affectionate. The Basenji The Basenji is another sighthound that makes this list. They're considered to be untrainable because of their stubbornness and independence. They are, however, playful and curious. Many consider them similar to toddlers. They'll wander around and get into stuff in order to satiate their curiosity. 
The Basenji is also wary even of their owners. While they can be friendly, they won't exactly be your best friend. With a lot of patience and effort, you might successfully train your Basenji. The Afghan Hound The Afghan Hound tops the list according to Dr. Stanley Corin, but Afghan lovers surely disagree. Afghans are sighthounds, which means they were bred to hunt using their extraordinary speed and eyesight. Like many sighthounds, Afghans can be aloof, which means they can be a little standoffish and reserved, especially with strangers. They can also be stubborn and independent. Due to these traits, Afghans are not easy to train. They prefer to think for themselves and do things on their own terms. You might have to be more creative when training an Afghan. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you've ever owned a dog of lesser intelligence, you may have spotted their breed on this list. Even if your dog made the list, it's nothing to get down about. We certainly find all these dogs simply irresistible and undeniably lovable too. This was love for animals. Thank you for watching.